So now let us work with reflections inside of Element 3D. So I'm going to drag in the Element plugin right here and let us work with the reflections. So in order to work with the reflections, I'm going to go into Scene Setup right here. And over here, I'm going to bring in the object which I want to use reflections with. So I'm going to go on to my solder pack right here. I'm going to take the floor texture options right here. So this is the surface where, where I want to reflect my material. And let's say I want to reflect this clock right here. So let me just drag this clock above so it stays right above the uh, floor fracture right here. But you can see that there's actually no reflection. This is quite a shiny surface, but it is not reflecting. So it is not looking real at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a shiny object. I'm going to go into preset, pro shaders right here, go into something like metal and drag this out. But still you can see that there is there is no reflection out there. So what I need to do is enable reflection on the floor fracture. So I'm selecting floor fracture right here, gonna drag it down and over here on the reflect mode right now it's set to default. So I'm going to change this into mirror surface which actually enables the reflection as you can see. So you can see that there's the reflection and it really matches with the texture right here. So you can see that there's the reflection. But what I want to do is enable reflection on this object as well. So I'm going to select the alarm clock and I'm going to select reflection options. So I'm going to select mirror surface right here. So it reflects the plane over here onto the surface as well, as you can see. There's some errors over here, but in After Effects menu, in the After Effects composition, the error won't be there anymore. And you have to make sure that it is in the great, same group folder for easy management. And you can also create your own group right here by selecting group folder right here. So let me just remove this group folder just like that. So you can see that these are the reflection and no matter what object I choose, the reflection will still be there. So I can select this one out. So the reflection is there. Shuttle, that is there. And it'll branch right here. The reflection is there. Shuttle, but there. So gold scratches, reflection is there. Let me just select this and I'm going to press OK so that the object appears here. So I'm going to go on to my camera mode right here. I'm going to select camera, press OK, and I'm going to select my unified camera tool, move it around just like this and zoom it over just like this and drag this down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new light. So I'm going to use a combination of light and reflection. So I'm going to press OK and the light is there. So I'm going to move the light upward right here. So let me move the light upward. This is a spotlight as you can see. So I'm just going to drag this down. So this is a spotlight. And over here, what I'm going to do is enable the shadows as well for an interesting outlook. So I'm going to go into render setting right here. I'm going to go into shadows and enable the shadows. And there you go. There are two level shadows right there. So you can see that there's subtle shadows over here, which creates a realistic effect. Just like that. So I can move it around over here. Just like this. And over here, I'm going to drag this out. And there you go. There's the combination of shadows and reflection, which makes the object much more realistic. So you can see that you can create a much more dynamic effect using the lights. You can see that there are shadows right here and reflection for a much more realistic effect. So that is how you can use reflection inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.